comfort of our country, South Africa, is fishing at our comfort of our home, but God will never change. Let us battle. We are in the season of the Lord, where Lord, God our Father is with us. I am preaching today whilst we are in different location at our comfort of our home, but God will never change. Let us pray. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I pray this morning that God touch your children wherever they are, in all corners of our country, South Africa, in the different provinces. Lord, I pray. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Lord, you said in your word, your voice, Lord, it's not too low not to be heard. We pray this morning, as we minister your word, O oh God, we pray, let your word, O oh God, touch their hearts in the mighty name of and in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray this morning, let your blessing, O oh God, not be heard, but also be felt. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord, we pray. This morning, Christians, I am praying that Unkulunkulu, let him hear us and hear the voice of and the cry of us as a church. We are in a season whereby things are a bit hectic and life is not at the point where we are so joyful. We are in the season whereby Christians, they are afraid to demonstrate But I want us to read two scriptures this morning and, 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 and let us be glad and let us rejoice in his presence. Mogubayena has a revelation for us. The Bible says in the book of Revelation 12, 11, they overcame him and, and conquered him through the blood of Jesus because of the words of their testimony, for they did not love their lives. And then in the book of First Chronicles 4, uh, 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 nine. The Bible says Jabez was more honorable than his brothers, and his mother named him Jabez because I gave birth to him in pain. This morning, Bazalone, as we are in this season of festivity, it is clear in my conscience and also in my mind that we are in the season of celebration. But not all of us, we are in that season whereby we are able to celebrate and give thanks unto the Lord. Situations and circumstances force us to cry. Like this mother that says, my child Jabez, he is honorable in front of communities. He is honorable in front of all the people that are living with him. But I, as the mother, I am in pain. I am saying to the mothers of faith and glory tabernacle, we might be experiencing that season that says, my children are more favored by the Lord, are more favored by people, are celebrated elsewhere, but not in my house. I am declaring this morning that as we pray and as we announce the goodness of the Lord, they are being celebrated but we as the church we are not celebrating what God has given us as a blessing God is because we know we go to Tina ne samba na Christ to Tina ne sem samba ago. We all tembe ago zekbe sekine. The Bible says in the book of Revelation, we are overcomers, but we overcome through the blood. I am saying unto you this morning, may the blood of Jesus make you to overcome. May the blood of Jesus make you to conquer. May the blood of Jesus. It humble pambili like the angels of the Lord. Lapo Ashokana in the book of Psalms David, as if the angels of the Lord will talk before you. I am declaring this morning that things will look faint and things never look good. In the season of celebration, I am declaring the word of Jesus. 
Jesus upon your life, upon your family, upon everything that has pulled you down from the beginning of the year. But I am saying unto you, you shall conquer in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus, because God is with you. The Pepe Litzelona, this woman, Atiena. I am speaking to parents this morning. I am saying unto you, you shall overcome in the name of the Lord Jesus. You shall conquer in the name of Jesus. But it is the prayer of a warrior. It is a prayer. Of, 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 of God that has set upon your life. The Bible little on this woman as he was honored more than his brothers. Oh, I am saying unto the mother that an umbanami is honored, but I can let you know it does not bring a prayer of honor unto me. As you announce and declare, you are conquering in the name of the Lord Jesus. I am praying this morning that Unkulunkulu Agwendele Umusa. Unkulunkulu Agwendele don't get involved. May God conquer for you. I am praying this morning that a prayer of someone that overcomes is someone that trusts the Lord. As it is in Angel Banda, faith and glory this morning, this December, let us stand in the gap whereby we are trusting the Lord, whereby we are believing in the Lord. We are also believing in the power of Jesus because the Bible is going to. Through their testimonies, they overcame. I am saying, that the Lord is God. That will make the provision. May Lord of Fagas this morning give you the strength to press on. Give you the strength not to give up. Give you the strength not to lie down. Give you the strength. Lord of Fagas. Um long for Lord the Utsu Jehovah, Elohim Jehovah El Shaddai. I am declaring this morning, go to Uma Pagam Sa Jesu, Tinva Tako Tiao Pagam, Uma Pagam Salizulu, Maga Jehovah, Lose Masuluni Aguve, Jangalona Wespazan, Atiana, I understand. My child is being celebrated. I understand that my child is being honored. But me now, I still remember Ushupega I am saying Ushupega. Oh, the Bible says the kingdom of God shall suffer violence and the violence shall take it by force. I am saying this morning as a church. Faith in glory, tabernacle. Let us stand up and let us praise him in our suffering. Let us declare him in our suffering. As the world is busy celebrating Gungeno Lapa, but let us be a church this morning that is able to pray unto the Lord. And our God is able to answer thee. May God this morning at Penjul. May God this morning at Wendelelokungono. May as we are left with approximately 14 days into the new year. May God give you the strength and the ability to overcome. May God Himself usher you in His presence. 
I am praying this morning that it is not about social upliftment, it is not about a, a materialistic blessing, but it is about the blessing of the Lord. May the blessing of the Lord in your life make you to prosper. May the blessing of the Lord does not accommodate any other thing, but it says, if God is, is with me, no one can stand against you. I am declaring this morning that no one can stand against you. No one, even, the, even, even if the enemy comes in seven directions. But I am saying unto you, know that the Lord is with you. They will be scattered in all directions. And totalize you because the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. The Spirit of the Lord has been risen. The Spirit of the Lord will make you prosper. Oh, the prosperity is not as prosperity where you can touch or where you can. I am saying, let the peace of God that surpasses all the understanding be upon your life. Because when you've got the peace of God, you know that God is with you. When you've got the peace of God, you know go to when you've got the peace of God, you understand that the current suffering is not for you, but it is for the glory of the Lord. I am declaring that God this morning, as he is with you, he is fighting for you, he is hearing your voice this morning. I pray this morning to the social blessing and the material blessing. Let us not be the center that holds us to worship God, but it be the manifestation of the glory of the Lord. I am declaring this morning that it might be a season where parents are neglecting their parental duties but as a church let us stand in the gap and say is South Africa it will not be demolished is South Africa in Mulu because God our Father he is working with us we are carrying the heavens in us we are carrying God in us and as we walk and as we declare this morning, go to the Kulunkulu corner, we are Mansha, we are Peel, Maga Mansha, Ah, Aguel, Maga Cosma, Buguel, Maga Jehovah, no Sezulin, Evan Evilaco. I pray the Bible says in the book of Daniel, as Daniel was praying, O Umtando Zoako Wavinjo, I am declaring this morning, Bobotwan Umtando Zoako will not be held by the principalities, but Umtando Zoako, your viewer is Let the heavens respond unto you. Let the heavens fight for you. Let the heavens, yeah, to go to where now look at you. Um look at you, I got some magat. God's provision is for excellence. God's provision is for to make you where you cannot. But God will say, I am lifting the standard. May God lift your standard. May God empower you. May God ashenge umjenwako. May the power of the Holy Spirit be upon you this morning. Because when you temper, lo temper galago, uya utembega, disugutako tokpila, guzebese kinen, may you trust in the faithfulness of the Lord. May you believe in the faithfulness of the Lord. May you trust in him. May you obey the Lord. May things begin to happen. I am declaring restoration upon your life, upon your family right now. Mage I restore everything that was taken by the enemy, everything. I am declaring this morning that may God restore in full measure and in full power. In his grace may God be with you. Uh, I, I am praying that uh, the prayer of Jeremiah in the verse 20, in, in, in chapter 29, verse 14, that may God restore 
anything that is lifeless unto you. May life come right now. May life come into your situation. May the latter rain be greater than the first rain. I am praying that all the things that are underneath, all the things that were unable to germinate in this season of the Lord, I am praying for you. I am praying for the new rain upon your life. I am declaring that it shall not just rain, but it will be flat. I am here this morning as the pastor to say, may God be with you. May Nkulunkulu Agwenzelu in this season, oh, the devil is looking for blood. I am saying, as we overcome through the blood of Jesus, not the blood of God, we overcome through the blood of Jesus, not in that lane, but only the blood. In the blood of Jesus, your things are beginning to happen, and wonders and miracles shall manifest if you trust in the blood of Jesus. I am praying this morning, Sister that may God make you to overcome through faith. The Bible says faith is the substance and evidence of things yet not seen. I am praying to you to say, may God be with you. May God of substance give you the substance to overcome. Give you the substance to move higher than any other. Because Tina, we are the ones that are called by God. And in our calling, we have not been called just to be ordinary. I am praying for an extraordinary spirit upon your life this morning. As you are catching us in South Africa, as you are catching us in Malawi, I am praying this morning that may Sanja Siamkulukulu sin be seeds and not to touch you. But yeah, now. Those that are broken, I am praying that you shall not end this year, 2023, being broken because the spirit of the Lord is upon you. It is upon you to make you better. I am praying that let the faith of God give you the power. Let the faith of God work wonders upon your life. Let the faith of God works in you. Let the faith of God empowers you and give you grace to overcome. I am saying, overcome in an uncommon season. This is a season that is not all, uh, common, but I am saying, the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. His faith is upon you. His glory is upon you for you to overcome. In an uncommon season. The Bible says in the book of Luke. You shall do the impossible. I am praying for the spirit of the impossible. In your life. That all the things that were impossible in your life. It shall be made possible through faith. If you trust in the Lord. May God give you the spirit of overcoming. May God conquer for you. May the spirit of fear be not upon your life. I am declaring right now in the name of Jesus that you are going to have the spirit of Joshua as we cross over unto the new year, unto the new season, that the spirit of Joshua is upon your life. The spirit of Joshua will make you to conquer. I am saying unto the church, what is it that we have in our hands? We've got the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. May the Holy Spirit become our advocate this season. May God our Father be with us as we celebrate him in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says uh, Joshua, when, when he wanted to enter into the promised land, after 40 years of the children of Israel have been suffering, I am saying, you might have experienced pain for far too long, but the spirit of encouragement is upon your life. I am declaring right now to say you shall cross over unto the new year, not with fear, but with power and with authority that God has given upon you. I am declaring right now the spirit of acceleration, the spirit of anointing, the spirit of God upon your life. I want us to close right now. The Bible says in the book of 
Isaiah, the Lord will always guide you. I am praying that the Lord guide you this season. I am praying that the Lord be with you this season. I am praying this morning that they let God himself intervene unto what you are facing. The Bible says he will give you plenty to eat. I am saying unto you, you might not have anything in your cupboard right now, but I am praying that may God give you things that are plenty for you to eat, things that will nourish your body, that will nourish your spirit, that will nourish you to overcome. I am praying this morning, the Bible says, even when your ground is dry, may God in your dryness, in your dry season, and then now I'm like saying, I am declaring the season of rain upon your life. May your land no longer be dry. May God be with you. Because in the dryness of life, people laugh at us. But in the plentiness of rain and in the season of the Lord, people will celebrate. And our lives are that of God, of sharing with other people. May this season share. The meal that we have with other people, I am declaring this morning that may God make your bodies very strong this season. May you have a spiritual manifestation and spiritual power and a spiritual body that when you walk, you don't walk in, 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 in lack of confidence, but you walk in the confidence of the Lord. Because Jehovah HaMashiach, the Lord that provides, the Lord that gives provision, is with you to make your bodies very strong. May that of your children too be made strong by the Lord as you pray this morning. Celebrate God and give Him the praise. May the strength of the Lord be upon your life and be upon your family. And then the Bible says, you will be like a garden. I am praying that let your gardens, let your money overflow. Let your money be protected because God is saying you shall be made strong and also you shall be like a garden, a garden that is green. I am praying for an everlasting love, an everlasting grace upon your life this morning. Because he saying our lives will be like a garden. May the garden of the Lord be watered. May it never be dry. May it be good. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray this morning. I pray for water. I pray that those that are thirsty, let them drink from the fountain of the Lord this morning. Because in God there is grace, there is power. May the power of the Lord be upon you. In Jesus' mighty name. May God... Even if your season is dry, may God make things better for you. For your children, I pray this morning that as you glorify God, as we are going into Christmas and New Year, let us know and understand that it will not forever be dry. Because my God, my Father, He will make you like a garden, the garden that is green. May the greening of the Lord in your life give you power, give you strength. I pray this morning that as I pray, may God hear me and answer your prayers. Let us all pray wherever we are in our country, in outside of our country. Let us pray unto the God of Israel, the God of Judea, because I am praying this morning, those that are watching, that those that are, are, are watching by means of television, I am praying that touch your screen right now. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray this morning. I pray for faith and glory tabernacle. I pray for our pastors everywhere in the, in the country. I pray, oh God, for their families in the church at large. That this morning, oh God, hear my prayer. I pray this morning that, Lord, as you enlarge their territories, let them make an impact wherever they are. Let the kingdom be advanced in Jesus' mighty name. I pray, O oh God, for an overflow, a spirit of overflow in the dryness of their season. I am praying right now that may God 
be with you. I am praying go to Kulunkulu, Uba Nets, Uba Sito, Timbilo Tabo, Labo, Labo, Shegi, Lexakala, Unyaga, Sisat South Petra, this money, that's in Kulunkulu, Abba, Tinega. Let them finish the year well. Let them not experience dryness next season. But Lord, you have promised this morning that this is your season. And it is the season that is not common. But Lord, in this season, oh God, we shall celebrate because you are with us. I pray this morning that Lord, all power is given unto us. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that Lord, continue to guide us in this season. We pray, oh God, that let us have the strength to overcome. Let us be a church that win. Let us be a Christians that win because you said they overcame him through the blood of Jesus. I pray, O oh God, the spirit of overcoming. I pray, O oh God, now that Lord let us use our mouth to declare and to testify your goodness in Jesus' mighty name. I pray this morning that, Lord, we shall not experience a blank future, but, Lord, we are going to experience a life of overflow as a church. I pray in the name of our Lord and Jesus Christ. Let us be a church that defines all odds, and, Lord, let us win. It might have been said, we will not pray, we will not succeed, planted things in our ministries, in our churches, in our homes, but I am saying the blood of Jesus will come conquer for us this morning. I am praying for an extraordinary character upon our lives wherever we are right now that let us do the test of time. Let us do the test of this season in Jesus mighty name. I pray let God conquer for you. Conquer right now in Jesus mighty name. I am saying unto the church uh, because we will not be able to see each other during Christmas Day, may you celebrate this Christmas with love and also let your families know that there is a God that lives. I am declaring unto everyone that this is the uncommon season, but it is the season of the Lord. May the cross of the Lord be upon you. May his power be upon your life. May this season God give you new grace to succeed. Be a person of influence, be a person of power, be a person of glory. May the advocate speak for you in Jesus' mighty name. You are all blessed. For those that will want to offer, I am praying that let us utilize the digital platform, the, uh, the, uh, 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 the transfers through the bank. And also let us honor one another as the church. I am praying this now that those that will want to offer this morning to the church uh, for the administration of the church, I am praying that let us do so. Let us go into our FNP account and deposit uh, whatever is in your spirit this morning. And also I am praying that those that will also have to honor God through their tithe and, and love us firing and also through the pastor's appreciation and also through the pastor's mission you still have an opportunity to do that use our account and also let us offer as we celebrate God let us remember that our God lives God wants us to arise and shine not for ourselves but for his glory may God be with you and his peace be with you faith and glory you are Christ, Christ live in us. Let us demonstrate through our attitude and our works that God is the center and is the pillar of our strength. In Jesus' mighty name, may you all be blessed. May the week ahead give you what you desire. May the spirit of the Lord be upon you. Those that are resting, I pray that rest well. May God be with you in Jesus' mighty name. Next week, Sunday, we'll also have our online prayer and also a word of God from one of our ministers. I am praying that as we pray tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, please uh, uh, join us and, 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 and we pray. Thursday we have a physical prayer and then that will also be led. If then things are changing, then we will then notify you in, in our groups. But definitely I am so looking forward a day before Christmas where we'll receive God and receive his weight. In Jesus' mighty name, may God be with you. May his power rest upon you. In Jesus' mighty name, you are all blessed. Shalom.